hello everyone welcome back to my channel twisted paper studio how are you it's day 27 day 27 let's read our garden dragon card and push through this push through this um let's see day 27 yesterday we got the peanut butter dragon card you guys are the peanut butter to my jelly Okay, today, oh, we have the lemon lime card, Union. That's so sweet. I like the lemon lime. How cute. Okay, let's take a look at what it says, lemon lime. Mm-hmm, lemon lime, Union. When the Lemon Lime Dragon turns up, look for someone who wants to partner with you. Union is the name of this dragon's game. Just like the lemon and the lime, there are some things that just go together easily. Be open to a joint effort coming your way. Also, it's an excellent time to reach out your hand to offer your friendship. These are the associations that will last you a lifetime. Don't look for someone just like you. Instead, find someone whose talents and energy complement yours. How sweet. <coughs> oh my goodness. Don't tell me we're going to do this again. I'll just cry. I have nothing more to drink in my, in my cup. Okay. Quickly, I'll do my blessings. Um, blessings to Cheryl and Lindsay. Continue blessings to you, Lindsay. Blessings to Barb. And blessings to Lori Hamill. Blessings to you. I'm going to start my timer. And we may not go the whole month of the timer. I am going to, I'm going to put it on and we'll just see. Okay. So yesterday we did the, um, large tag in the, um, using the, uh, scrapbooking. I'm sorry. Using the digital collage. We have, um, this, this little pocket here, side tuck that we made from a check. I did I did fussy cut out some things, so let's see if we can put some more things somewhere. I'm just gonna take a look. <coughs> oh, please don't cough. My, my water is downstairs. So we have a tag in here. We have a twisted tangle. We put a piece of ephemera on there. It's a journaling spot. Journaling spot, journaling spot. Woohoo, I think we are almost done in here. Um, I don't know if I want anything there. Let me take a look. Well, that looks pretty cool because of that. Hmm. I wonder. If we just give it an image. Well, maybe we'll just put it up there. Hmm. I like it. I do. Maybe we'll just put it there. Right on the pocket. Yes, I think so. I think we will. We'll put a little bit of medieval in here since there is medieval on the cover. And there is medieval on some of the pages. We kind of mix medieval with Easter. <laughs> I know, I'm an odd creature. <laughs> I did mix the two of them together. Yes, that was me. <laughs> okay. I'll just glue that right on there. How are all of you? I hope you're all well. Okay. I'm just going to put it right on there. And it's okay that we're putting it on after the fact that we already put our pocket in. It's okay to decorate after. And we have our stamped bunny image down there. We did those. Hmm. I'm wondering if we, I wonder if we just did this tag and we like, 
attached it in there with like a grommet. Let me just see. Uh, not a grommet. Uh, what are they called? Are they bread? A bread. Oy. That might look cute. I think I might like that. Let me check the back. Maybe we'll do it up here. Yeah, I think I like it, you guys. Something different on the page. And I really think I could poke this through there. I can. And we'll just spread this out here in the back. I like that look. Yeah, I do. Okay, we're going to leave it. Mm -hmm. It looks cute. Okay. Um, do I want something back here? What are these dictionary words? <laughs> Check to make sure. Should we put a little bit of paper on there? So it can be for collage, maybe? Just a little portion of it? Maybe that might be good. Yeah. Maybe we'll just do... A little portion of it for collage so not the whole thing just a small amount for um for writing a writing space and then of course if they want to add more they can here we go Okay, and then we have this here, that, this here. That was so cute. Hmm. Um, I might even just put that right on there. I'll just glue that right on there. I'm gonna cut it down. So don't be afraid to, you know, collage just collage pieces onto page onto book pages you can do that um they don't have to be you know they can just be an image they don't have to be fussy cut they could be a postcard or an image like this <clears throat> and you can just put that right down on there on the paper just to give it an image I like that. Let's go ahead and glue it down. And this way, you're putting something down on the paper and you don't have to necessarily fussy cut it out so intricately. It's just four sides, you guys. Let's put that down and we'll put it right in the middle. Well, fairly in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And then you can also put something on that side. I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to leave that on that side. I haven't decided yet what to do in the center here. So I'm just going to leave it. You have this bunny here. Tag in there. Hey, what are you doing there? Don't be bending. <laughs> Don't be bending. Maybe we should something in there. Hmm. I might come back to that because I don't really know and I don't have much on my desk. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what I have on my desk. I'm going to keep going. If I don't see something right away, I just keep going. That's another way that I work too. <laughs> I just keep going. Uh-oh. 
we have a gluey situation here. Uh-oh. We're going to have to fix that. Guess how? You guessed it. With collage. Oh, let me see. No, it's not that bad, actually. <clears throat> it's not bad at all. I will clean that up after it's stuck. <clears throat> Possibly we'll just put an image right there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yes, we'll go ahead and do that. I'll cut it and I'll just put an image there. That's all. That's all. So how is everyone? I hope you were all well. Well, if this cuts right, hold on now, I gotta recut it. I'll come back over here so you can see me cut. It's not cutting evenly. I was in too much of a rush. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we'll just put that right there. Little bunny image. That's good. And that will cover up where it was glued down. Quick fixes, you guys. Quick fixes. That's what happens when you work with glue. There's no way around it. There really isn't. <laughs> You got to take the good with the bad. And what did I do there? I put it on crooked. <laughs> Here I am saying you got to take the good with the bad and I go and put it on crooked. Okay, moving along, we have that paper there. All right, now, I had a calendar piece here, and I I did fussy cut this. I tried to make it quicker for today, but those other pieces I wanted to do. So I'm just going to put that right in there. Those, This was not planned. This, in the end, was planned. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on my time, uh, make it easier for both of us. Make it easier to go in and out of town for both, for me. <laughs> and so I did cut that out and I'm just gonna put it right here. I like it. I like the look a lot. And this was on a calendar page. So on this side can be journaling and on this side is an image. It looks cute. Okay, and then here, this was a broken piece of music paper on the bottom. Um, I thought of leaving it back and forth and back and forth, but what I decided to do was I took a postcard and I'm just going to glue it all up and I'm going to attach it right to the bottom. So we'll get an image on the front and also an image on the back. I think I'm going to do it this way. And then it will give that piece more stability. So I'm just going to glue it up. We'll do it together. Okay. There we go. Okay. And now I'm just going to take this piece and I already put a fold in it. So I'm going to just match up my seams there and then flip it up to go to the back. And that's it. And it will cover that rip that's in the page. And no one will know it was there except for us. <laughs> There we go. 
Oh, it looks like I missed a corner, so let me just get it. There we go. Did I have a card over here somewhere? Or did I clean everything up? I think I cleaned it all up. Okay. So now, now there's a piece on this side and a piece on that side. And then here, did I have something else here? I, I thought I did. Thought I had something for the pocket. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> oh. Well, I know in yesterday's video that I wanted to put this in here. So I have this little um, bunny that's on here. And I think what I'm going to do is just cut it out like this. And this is all stapled together. This belonged to the person, whoever the person was that I got this stuff from. This belonged to, um, I think her name was Tilly. I can't remember. Tilly. Yes, her name was Tilly. <laughs> That's a cute name. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just clip this bunny picture. Hopefully I cut it straight. And I'm just going to put that bunny right on there with stapler. It's already stapled, but there. That's all I'm going to do. And then put it in a pocket somewhere or put it in a tuck somewhere so that it matches in the book with the rest, with the rest of the ephemera here. We'll put it right here in this pocket. How's that? Isn't that cute? Probably need another tall tag for in there, huh? Let me see what else I have. I don't think this is not going to go. Hmm. That's not what I was looking for for a tall tag. May, might have to make one off camera. Um, hmm. What can we do back there? I wonder if we can put a little flip. Did I have one in here? I don't think so. I don't think I did. Maybe we'll put this little flip on the back page. Well, you guys saw how I did that, so... I might just do that off camera and and uh, let's see I did want to put this little guy right here <laughs> I did it's so cute and darling the front is medieval but this little bunny on the back is just so sweet and precious and I really think I want to put it back here I'm going to I am going to so I'm just gonna trim it up Really, really good. And I'm going to stick it right back there. That's what I'm going to do. Now remember, um, I used the, the glaze. Um, I did take it out, I think, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, I used the glaze on my books. Oh. Should I do it there or should I do it on the pocket? Oh, now I don't know. Maybe I'll do it on the pocket. I do want to put it there, but you know what? I already put the glaze on there. The glue might not stick very well. I think I'll just put it right here on the pocket, on the back of the book. That's what I'll do. Even though I liked him there, we can always do another, another page. This looks so cute with the red on the old ledger page, so I can always just do that on something else. But I think I'll put him right back here. I liked him, he's cute. Oh, so I was saying, I put the glaze on the back of there, so that micro glaze that I put on my books on the outside and the glue might not stick. Did forget about that part. <laughs> 
Look how darling. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. And these are in my in my shop. These little pieces, these little these little images. Okay. So let's see. Maybe we can make um I don't know if we can. Let's check it out. Possibly, possibly we can. We need a book page, right, to make it thick. We need to cut it. And we need to glue it on the book page. I should glue it down. I mean, cut it down. And they also need uh, something to back it. So here we're just going to do one. I don't know. Did I put anything in here? Why am I thinking that I did? I didn't. It was in the other one, right? I just want to make sure. I can't remember anymore. It's all a blur. <laughs> it was in the other one. Okay. Okay. Now we need um something. <laughs> what? Let me see how where it's gonna flip off of. Oh yeah, that looks nice. All right, so I will do that. Okay. And that's what, that was a bad print. So we'll just go ahead and glue back here. Glue back here. Whoopsie. print and we'll go ahead and cut around it and if you need to trim up your bottom better you you know you could use the trimmer it's basically this is what you have to get right <laughs> And believe me, I've done it before where I've had to go around again to make it all even. I have. It's not easy sometimes. It's just the top part. The rest is straight. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So. Now we have, let me get a card. I don't know why I keep losing my card that I took out. All right. And I'll just chomp it at the bottom just to make sure. Just to make sure. I think it is straight though. Okay. And then we will, I need to work on that middle. And then we will... Hmm. Do I want the flip to go where the pocket is? Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm going to make a tall tag in there. How, where do I want this to go? I thought I knew, but now I might have changed my mind. I think I will put it, let me just see what it would look like if I had a taller tag in here, because I am going to make one. I think I'm going to put it on this side. So we'll go ahead, we need a hinge. So let me get a piece of paper for the hinge. We'll use this. 
can use this and we'll just fold it this way. And check the height. And just use a ruler. I'm checking the height. Remember, we went over all this before. You just want to check your height, how where you want it. I'm gonna just go a little bit lower, a little bit shorter. Oopsie. I need this. It's not doing the right thing. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and cut it uh, so it's all even. There's my hinge, and I'm going to hinge it with the image on this side. Hmm, do I want the bunny to be a surprise? No, I want to see the bunny on the outside. Okay. And we'll just glue it all up. So the image you can see, the white part is being glued. And I'm going to have the bunny on the outside. So I'm going to put the hinge on the back. Now, let me do it here first. So that I get it right on the fold. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this this way, where I want it. All right, there we go. And I'm actually going to do a little collage on that side. Oops. A little collage on this side too just so that it'll mesh all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, just tear a little bit. <coughs> and put that right there, like that. I think I'm gonna tear a little bit more so that it's the same size as it is on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have my water in front of me. I drank it all, actually, <laughs> and I didn't go downstairs. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that and glue it up. And then just put this right here so it covers the other side where it's glued where it's hinged on and then when the glue dries I'll fold it back I'm not going to do that just yet because of the fact that I don't I don't want it to hurt it in any way <laughs> but there we go so we put a little hinge on the back of the book I may even put a little tab on there well thank you so much for joining me today um beautiful blessings to you all and I will see you tomorrow for oh my gosh day 28 <laughs> All right. Bye for now, my crafting buddies.